for the world and I don't want to concentrate on friends right now. And I also don't want friends in my life unless they sign an NDA because I've had too many friends that use me or too many friends that turn out to be fucking wackadoodles um, or tell things that I've told them in confidence to other people to where I'm like, if you want to even be in my life, you need to sign an NDA from now on because otherwise I don't want anyone around me. It'll just at least scare them from talking shit behind my back, at least. <laughs> the mods are getting NDAs. I actually thought about it, Dragon Sky. I really did. I'm wearing the same ass from Sprays out of Spinal Fusion and a Leptomacetity on T10 through L1 on November 16th. Five days in the hospital, still have horrible pain. Can't sleep more than a couple hours at night. I hope you feel better. Oh, Scotty Bob, I'm so sorry. You're you're in the midst of it right now. I'm you're going to sleep terrible for the next two months and then you're going to sleep good. You're going to finally get a full night's sleep and have no idea. When you get a full night's sleep, you're going to freak out. I'm so sorry for you. I hope they I hope they're giving you Dilaudid. Send me an NDA. I will be there for you. All right, Matt, Matt attack. All Twitch viewers must sign an NDA. I've leaked my DMs out to you guys. You want to play booty caller? Oh, that's beautiful. Reading rainbow. Trust is important. That's why friendship circle is small. Yeah, and there's this very weird thing. Um... I also think it's my age. I don't know if other people around my age feel the same, uh, but I, I'm on a lot of forums um, because, you know, life life is lonely even when you have friends. Um, life can still be lonely when you're surrounded by people and friends. Um, so I actually go on to a lot of forums. I'm on a lot of Reddit forums. I'm just on a lot of forums in general to talk to people about my feelings. Um, to just talk to other people that are in my age range, like 30 to 40. Uh, I love being in just group chats of 30 to 40, like even telegram groups where they're not trying to sell you anything. You're just literally just like, hey, how's your day? And you can talk about the same shit that a 30 year old would talk about. Um, Cause I think there's this, there's this weird agenda that you think you have to have friends um, and then you have to have a big circle of friends. Um, most of the time, right? So when I started to not have that group of friends, I started to get depressed. And then I realized like by me putting this idea of I desperately need friends or I desperately need this amount of people around me to have my circle of friends, I was causing the, my depression and my sadness because your friends are what you make of it. And, 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 and it's just a relationship, right? And I really just prefer forums going anonymously and getting my getting what I need out of conversation through those things rather than, you know, having fake friends, because really you just go to you have friends for what you need. Right. And what you can provide them as well. Those turn out to be more acquaintances or hanger hanger honors. Yeah. And you know, another problem with me is I never um, I never get alpha female friends. So I desperately am in need of friends who are higher, higher than me in life. And I need more alpha female friends for the longest time. I didn't want alpha female friends and I didn't even realize it um, because I like to make all the decisions. But I really do want someone to challenge me in my friendship. But um, I haven't found anybody yet. Edie is an alpha. Edie, Edie, I can see Edie being an alpha, but she just doesn't have the same level of, we're just not at the same level in life, right? So I can give her advice all day long, right? And give her more out of the friendship. Not saying I am, so definitely don't take that to her because I love Edie and I think we have a very great mutually beneficial friendship like we're we're both you know get the actual friendship out of each other and that's the important thing with her right but you know i still could say oh well i could give her all these tools to make more money and stuff but like what what is she giving me you know if i wanted to get salty about it at some point if that makes sense right because like sometimes you get friends 
and you're equal in a relationship, but then you start like giving them info or you start helping them. And then, you know, unbeknownst to them, you're sitting down and you're thinking like, well, fuck, I've, I've put more effort into this, that, or that. And like, what have I gotten out of it? Right. Besides just like hanging out. So it's like hard, it's hard, you know? And I think that way because I've been through so much manipulation that I, I don't normally go into friendships just thinking it's a friendship. It's very hard for me to do that. Razzy, thank you so much, Razzy. I appreciate it. Thank you for lurking. It's not cool to help somebody thinking they owe you. That's my opinion. But that's not what I'm saying. You start helping them a lot, right? And then and then the friendship becomes one sided. So it's not that you start helping them being like, oh, you owe me something. It's just you start helping them. Right. And naturally you start helping them so much more to where you realize. Oh, shit. They're getting more out of this than me. What am I getting? That's what I'm saying. I'm not doing it and thinking, oh, I need something back. It's just how things happen. It's a natural slope. You don't want to help someone because you're afraid they're going to be better than you. Nope. I have personally set up um, girls streams. I have personally um, worked with girls. If you know anything about my porn career, I was the girl that you put in your showcase because I have no problem sitting down and letting you have your moment. If you look at Ali Hayes' showcase, I actually even sat outside of the sex scene for half of it because I thought they were so great and I didn't want to overshine her because um, I was so new and I had such a big name at the time. I have no problem letting people take, take, the, take the light and I have no problem giving women the tools. That's the difference. I want women to have the tools. I'm literally right now trying to do something to give people the tools they need to succeed on OnlyFans or other platforms. So that is, that is just a complete, that's what you're thinking. You probably don't want to help people because you don't want them to get better than you. That's, that's the point when your friends, you realize your friends see you as a God. They only contact you when you need something. Exactly, J Mitch. That's what I'm saying. It falls into like a weird habit. Even at the friendship level, I'm with a guy since I was 14 and he owns a business and has exponentially more money than me. He and I can still hang out like we did when we were 14 and gotta be about wanting to spend time with other human beings for who they are as a person. Exactly, prodigal. 